Hey, yo, this is the Epson ET3760 printer here. Now I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about it, starting from the very top and then work my way down. So starting on the very top up here, you can do like automatic copies. So if you have like a bunch of documents you wanna copy all at once, you can put your papers here. You can fit up to 30 pages here. Put them through and then they will print out right here and that's where they will sit. If your papers are different sizes, you can adjust the size of the paper in the copier with this little tab right here. But once you're done, the, again, your papers will go right there and then you can just close this thing just like that so it's not sitting open. Besides the automatic copier at the very top, if you open this up, you're gonna get your regular like scan copier here. And this is good if you want like high quality single documents, you're gonna get better quality on this than you would on the automatic feed. So this is good for like uh, important documents and things like that where quality really matters. I go ahead and put them there. And then you could just close this and you're gonna see here you have different options. So this is a nice uh, like little LED screen right here for you to choose from. It is adjustable so you can adjust the position of it. And then you can cycle through what you wanna do right here with these different buttons. So I have copy right now. If I wanted to copy, I would just click OK. They have a scan mode, maintenance mode, settings. And then you can just go inside there and check some of the different things out that they have. You can even change like the type of paper you're gonna using in here, the size of your paper. It has a back button right there, so if you wanna go back. And then also over here on the side, here's a home button, help button, and power button. So you can adjust like uh, the different settings and choose different options all right here with the nice touch screen that it has. Here in the front middle, this is where your papers will come uh, after you've made your copies. They will just sit there. Now, if you want to adjust the paper, you just go ahead and pull this here. You can add paper here. You're gonna see there's guides on the side. So if you're gonna use like different size papers, you can adjust these guides here on the side so that way it fits the, the size of the paper that you want to use. Once you're done, you just flip this up and go ahead and push it in. Over here on this side, you can see how much ink you have. So this is pretty nice. These are like gauges. And then when it's time to change the ink, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and flip up the very top right here. And the way this ink is, it's gonna last longer because you actually just pour it in. So you're gonna go ahead and just pop that open right there. You just pour it in uh, right there. But again, super, super easy. And then when you do that, sometimes the machine itself will like recalibrate uh, and this and that. This printer can also be used with all kinds of devices, mobile devices, uh, laptops, computers, etc. So pretty much any device that can connect to Wi-Fi should be able to connect to this printer. As far as dimensions, this printer is 14 point inches wide. 13.7 inches deep and 9.1 inches tall. Here's a look at the back of this printer. I just wanna point out two things. So you have your power cable there, just very simply, just plug that in, plug the other end into your outlet. And then right here though, this can pop off. So if you ever get like a paper jammed or anything like that, you can pop that off, go ahead and remove the paper uh, that is jammed. And then once that uh, that's uh, taken care of, obviously you can just go ahead and click it back in just like that. So overall, I think this is a really high quality printer for home offices or for college, for students, for homework, things like that. Really good printer and one that I would recommend.